Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Math Bell. My name is Michelle and here I share strategies, tutorials, ideas, tips, and more in elementary math for parents and teachers. Today is day 12 of our 30 day back to school math resource challenge. And in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how to make your very own printable matching worksheets for your students. Let's get started. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create simple matching worksheets for your students. So I have three different examples here. The first one is just matching a, an object to the same object. The next one is to match an amount to a specific numeral. And then the last one is matching the image or the picture to the name or vocabulary word that matches that picture. And we're gonna be doing this in Google Slides, so we're gonna start by going to File to open a new presentation. And then let's edit our settings to set it up for our printable. So we'll get, we'll get rid of our themes. We'll change the layout to a blank slide and then go to File and Page Setup to change the dimensions of the page. Click on Custom. We're gonna change it to eight and a half inches by 11 inches. Hit Apply. And there is our page. So we're gonna start with the first Worksheet, we're going to insert a text box to set up our name and our heading. And then we're going to add in our shapes. So let's go to our shapes button in our toolbar and the first shape I'm going to use is a rectangle I'm just going to stretch that out and then the next shape I'm going to insert is a circle then let's add in a rectangle that we're going to shape as a square We'll add in a triangle. And then we're gonna add in a rhombus as well. So I'm gonna select all of them and decrease the size of the shape. So now they're a little scattered, so what I'm gonna do is select all of them, then go to the menu, hit Arrange, hit Align, hit Center, so they're all aligned in the center, and then go back to Arrange, go to Distribute, and then Distribute vertically to make sure that they have the same amount of space in between each shape. Then we're going to color in each of our shapes. So let's highlight them again. I'm gonna click on the border, black border, and then increase the weight of the border. And then just give each shape its own color. So there are our shapes. So we're gonna select the shapes and I'm gonna duplicate them. So using my keyboard, I'm gonna hit Command D if you have a Mac, if you have a PC, hit Control D. Let's move them over. Let's get rid of that title. I'm just gonna select those text boxes and then move them in just slightly. Let's move these in as well. Okay, so now what we want to do is rearrange our shapes on the right so that the students have to match them. So we don't want them to be in the same order. And I'm just going to select them again and make sure that they are aligned. So we'll do a line center again, arrange, and distribute vertically again. 
And the last thing I want to do is add in a border. So I'm going to go to shapes, add in a rectangle and cover the entire page. For the fill color, I'm going to choose white and then the border color, I'm going to choose black and give it a thickness and then right click with order, send to back. So we have our border. Now I'm going to bring that border in and then just center it. So there's our first page. Let's add in directions really fast and then we'll be done with this first page. So our directions are added in, so we're done with that first page. Now we're gonna start on our second page. So where our slide is on the right, I'm going to right click and hit duplicate slide. And now we're working on our second page. So I'm gonna move, I'm gonna delete the border for now. We'll bring it back at the end. And then we're going to select all of the page or all of the images below. And I'm gonna delete those. For this second page, we are going to have students matching numbers and amounts together. So we're going to change that title. This time we're going to insert images from the internet. So we're going to go to insert image and then search the web. I'm going to type in carrots clip art. So have like a food theme, vegetable theme maybe. I'm gonna select this carrot and then click on insert. I definitely wanna make it smaller. And then I want to change the position of the carrot, make it kind of leaning up. And then I'm going to duplicate them. So here you can choose the amount of carrots that you want. So I want six carrots. So I'm going to duplicate those carrots. Then I'm going to, I'm going to be arranging the carrots. So I'm going to select the first one and the last one and make sure they're lined up. And then I'm gonna select all of them, go to arrange, align, align middle, arrange, distribute, distribute horizontally to make, them, make sure they're aligned. And then I'm going to select them, right click and go to group. So they're grouped together. And then I'll probably decrease the size just slightly one more time. So there's our carrots. Let's do another image. We're gonna do corn this time. So insert image, search the web. Type in corn clip art. This one looks good. Insert. So let's change the direction and then minimize that corn. Remember, this is just to give you ideas to inspire your thinking when it comes to creating activities and printables for your students. So definitely use what you want, make it what you want it to look like for your children and your students. Let's make it a little bit smaller. So I want four corn. So I'm going to duplicate the corn. And then I'm gonna line that last one up with the carrots, where the carrots end. And then let's arrange them. Those are done. Let's select, right click, and group them together. I'm gonna to add in three other vegetables to our page so that we have five sets of numbers and then we'll add in our numerals.
Okay, so we have our pictures of our vegetables and our number amounts ready. Now we're gonna add in our numerals. So I'm just gonna add a text box and type in a number. So let's start with seven. Let's change the font and then increase the size. Let's center it. Then I'm just gonna duplicate that text box. And then bring that final one down here. And then let's select them all and arrange. And then we're going to adjust our numbers. So I'm going to put the numbers randomly so that the students have to choose where to draw their line in order to match the pictures to the right number. So there's our pictures and our numbers that students need to match. Let's adjust our directions to match this page. Then we're gonna add back our frame. So I'm gonna copy that frame, bring it here and paste it. Right click on it, go to order and send to back. So we're gonna do our last page. So I'm gonna go back to our slides on the side, right click, duplicate slide. Let's get rid of the frame and then let's delete our images and numbers. For this last page, we're going to have students matching different two dimensional shapes with their names. So I'm gonna change the title and let's change our directions. So from this one, we're gonna go back to our shapes button and add in different two dimensional shapes. I'm gonna select all of them so that I can resize them and make them decrease the size. Let's select them again and change the border to black and the weight to three. Let's arrange them, align center, arrange, distribute vertically. So I'm just gonna add some color to each shape. Let's go with different blues. So we have our shapes, now we need to add in text boxes for their names. Then let's mix them up so they're not already matching their shape name. I'm gonna select all of the text boxes and we're gonna decrease our font size down. Then we're gonna go to Arrange, Align, Center, then Arrange, Distribute, Vertically. So there's our last page. Let's add in that border. Remember, borders are optional. You can use them if you like. Press paste, right click, go to order, and then send to back. And there's our final page. So we just need to title our presentation. Then we're gonna go to file. Let's look at it before we download it. So I'm gonna go to print settings and pre preview. And there's how our pages are going to look when we print them out. 
So let's close preview. And then we're gonna go to file, download, and then download as a PDF. And here are our three worksheets that created for students to practice matching different shapes, numbers, number amounts, vocabulary words. You can use this with a variety of students in both primary and intermediate. Just change the levels of difficulty based on the skills they need to practice or the vocabulary terms that they need to learn. I really hope this tutorial helped you with giving you ideas on how you can create matching worksheets for your students.